Many people have preconceptions about neuroscience, that it's very medically focused and we deal mostly with patients that have head injuries or other brain disorders. But as a master's student, when you start the program, you'll see immediately that this is not the case. When I first came to the program, I didn't know that everything within this area was kind of all had a very strong collaboration. When I went around, I saw like there are so many other labs and independent institutions that are all very closely connected and it's very easy for a student to go to all these different avenues and you know, to meet a lot of different people. One of the benefits of the Masters of Neuroscience is that you can work with a huge variety of model organisms and model systems because each one of them offers a very specific advantage to studying a certain part of the brain. The zebrafish is a really good model for understanding the brain. It's really cool to be able to see neurons that light up and fire when they see some stimuli or something like that. When you start your studies in the Masters of Neuroscience at LMU, you will be part of basically a little family. But within this family, we have people from all over the world and also from very different academic backgrounds. When you're doing experiments, for example, you get a very narrow sense of what you're doing and you tend to forget the bigger picture. And I think if you take courses outside of what you're just focused on, you kind of get to see how what you're doing fits into a larger context. In the Neuroscience Master's program, we have this wonderful opportunity to study not just biology and very technical subjects, but also philosophy. I feel that neuroscience now is in a, a brilliant position to finally help answer these questions that philosophers have talked about for such a long time. Topics such as consciousness, free will. Pasta or grill? Vegetarian, of course. But what about my free will? <laughs>